Hello there everyone, The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 69 of our FTB Ocean Block Let's Play, the nice episode. Uh, today, as you can see, we're working on immersive engineering and getting our uh, vacuum tube singularity set up, so let's get started. All right, today we are going to be working on singularities, of course, because that's where we're at in the pack. And I said that last episode because that's where we were at in the pack last episode. Uh, so today I want to start working on the vacuum tube singularity. Really, it's the final singularity that is not just um, crafting outside of the applied energistic singularity. And that's going to require a little bit of setup. And I want to, you know, I want to start working on the vacuum tubes because I feel like they're going to take a while. The singularity itself, I, I think that we can pump water into that and that'll take care of that singularity. So... We'll, we'll see where we end up with that. If anything, we can use chisels and bits and do water bits that way, and we can make the singularities work fine. Um, so the vacuum tubes are going to be our next step. So vacuum tubes are a fairly simple thing to craft. It does require um, a blueprint, which I'm going to be honest with you. If you watched me play Immersive Engineering in all the Mod 6, you'll know I have never really used Immersive Engineering for much of anything because most of the stuff that Immersive Engineering can do has been outdated and outmoded by, you know, this or this and all this technology and all this stuff. So I'm uh, not the most familiar with how Immersive Engineering works. So we're going to be doing this together and we're going to be experimenting with this together and trying to figure this out together. So I hope you're uh, ready to be along for the ride. Um, I have taught the system how to make a bunch of the things that we're going to need for immersive uh, in between episodes here. So we have the treated wood slabs and all this stuff. Um, but in order to do any of this stuff to get started anywhere, we need to start working on getting creosote oil because we need to create treated wood. And how do we get creosote oil? Well, normally the process would be to set up a Coke oven and burn some kind of, you know, coal or um coal coke or stuff like that and that'll produce us creosote oil and we can make a coke oven with um coke blocks which is or coke bricks which is just bricks and clay and sandstone however we do have the ability to um it's or dictionary creosote oil with thermals creosote oil bucket of creosote oil or regular creosote oil which is um made in a pyrolyzer by just throwing some coal in there and we'll get creosote oil. Um, we also get a uh, get coal coke as a byproduct and tar. Or we can put wood into there or logs and we'll get charcoal in creosote oil. Um, this is easier to set up than going the full immer immersive route. Um, it's also a little bit easier to automate. So we're going to go this route for getting our creosote oil and then we're going to pump it into a fluid encapsulator in order to get buckets of this stuff because buckets are what is required to actually make the treated wood planks. You need a bucket of creosote oil. Um, yeah, so that's where that, that, that's where we're at. So we're going to start out going this route. So we need to get ourselves a pyrolyzer. So let's pop up, um, though why we're popping up, I don't know, because I have access to refined storage right here. Oh, also, I found out um, in between episodes here that if you so like, OK, we're going to craft this pyrolyzer, but we're going to need the fluid encapsulator. Right. And we're going to need it to craft the machine frame and the redstone flux coil. So if I hit control click, it's going to ask me if I want to craft the stuff. But if I hit control shift click, it'll just do it. It's not going to ask me if I want the stuff made. Look, it made it. Bam. So it kind of bypasses that screen. And I think I have been doing this throughout the pack and not realizing that I've hit, been hitting control shift click. And so then things get made and I'm like, and it's just been, it's been kind of throwing me off, but I realized I've been hitting control shift click for a while now. And I don't know if I ever mentioned it or whatever. So control shift click just bypasses the, this screen, you just control shift and you'll, it'll automatically request it. You don't got to click start on everything. Um, so yeah, anyway, so we have two machines. We're gonna have a fluid encapsulator and a pyrolyzer. Um, and we're also going to need to get ourselves a um, simple black hole tank because we're gonna store the creosote oil in our refined storage system. And then we'll have refined storage pump out into the fluid encapsulator. So we'll get a uh, black hole tank and we're going to need to, um, actually no, we don't need, we just need exporters and importers. Exporter. 
two of those. Do we need two? Or am I going to request these? I'm going to request these. So I need... Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to make the creosote oil, but I'm going to request the buckets. So I'm going to need one exporter and one imp and two importers. And we're also going to need a crafter. And we'll just use one of our gold crafters because we have it. Exporter and importer. It was I importers I needed two of, right? Yes. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go. Uh, and we'll set this up on a refined storage area, which is also running out of room, similar to our other area here. And this is actually a mechanism modification station. But let's see, what haven't we used? We're going to use the phyto... Are we going to use the phytogenic insulator? No, phytogrow is a craft. We're probably not going to use this anymore. And we we haven't had anything that we need to use the Tinker's Workbench for a while. So we'll just get rid of that. Look, we have an exporter already set up. What are you exporting? Don't do that. Um, okay, so we can set our pyrolyzer here. And our fluid encapsulator can go here. The crafter is going to sit on the encapsulator. Get our wrench, rotate them up. Excuse me, sir. Cables, cables, cables. Cables. And bam. Okay, so you are online. We are ready to go to do the fluid encapsulating part. And what this needs, it's going to need a bucket, a, a bucket, and then uh, 1,000 millibuckets or one bucket of creosote oil, and it'll give us a bucket. And then on the back of this, we'll put one of the um, importers. So we can import right back into the system. And that is pretty much set up. Um, you are going to get an exporter, but we're going to move the exporter to the top. We're going to import from the back, throw a cable there, and then export to the top. Bam. And you are going to, and actually that cable's superfluous. Uh, so you are going to export. Do we want to do coal or do we want to do, and I just realized, Importer, you can't import fluids and items, and we're going to end up with both here, aren't we? We're going to have to have another importer. Or the importer. Wait. Yeah, importer. We're going to need another importer on the front in order to import from the... Uh, or import the liquid and the item that's made, right? We'll find out. We'll find out. And actually, I don't think with this we can set. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll see how this works. Okay. So what are we going to put in here? Do we want to put um, wood or do we want to put coal? The, uh, the biggest benefit of wood is that we have wood essence. Uh, no, we don't have wood essence. It's all going being used to making crates. So we don't have any wood essence. So scratch that reverse. We're going to put coal. We don't really have much coal. I did go tick accelerate our coal production down there. I didn't do the whole acceleration wand. I did time in a bottle to accelerating on it. So we have a little bit of extra coal in our system now. Because remember, we burnt through it with our, you know, 8x tick accelerating on our guy there. But we'll put coal into, not you, you want the exporter. So we'll put coal into there, and it should, if I allow input on the top, we're going to get coal, right? Um, and this isn't going to be the fastest thing in the world as it is now, but we need to get, we'll get the whole gamut of upgrades. So if you look at thermal, um, we need two of these, and we're going to want six of these. Because we have two machines here, and we're going to want them both to be as fast as they can. All right, so we're getting cold coke, and we're getting creosote oil, right? Um, so I want the creosote oil to import into the system. Um, and I just realized I don't use importers to import fluids, do I, ever? I have never used fluids to import, or importers to import fluids. I've used the um, quantum entangle porters now it's been a while since we've had to do this so my brain um i forgot that, that this is how we end up setting this up yeah i use a quantum entangle porter and then i put the simple black hole tank and then i set up an external storage got it bada bing bada boom we're good to go okay so we can put this here get our copy card copy or well paste really you are going to be a creos creosote oil input 
and you are going to get fluids from your back input. And then you are going to auto output enabled. Oh, and the front can't be an auto output. You jerk. Importer, exporter. I don't have access to the back. I don't have access to the side. Modification station. I got everything I need for the mechanism. For mechanism, right? My mecha suit is pretty, it is maxed out. I'm not even going to say pretty much maxed out. It is maxed out. So then we can put the quantum entangle porter here. I need some building blocks, please. Factory blocks. You just go away. The reason I'm putting that down is because I want this to be the front. So then it's easier when I tell this, hey, fluids, you're going to input on the right instead of letting it do its own thing. Or be backwards, you know. Oh, uh, these aren't dots either. These are a wireframe. Okay. So you are going to auto output to the left. And you should start accepting outputting fluids. No. I'm gonna have to set up a pipe in between. Seems to be that way. Just to be sure. Input, 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 input. Yeah, well, I tried. One more attempt here. You want to play this game here? We'll play this game. Fluids input. This is a mechanical pipe, right? Why are you... And this output. Are you... Not considered a fluid? Is creosote oil not a fluid? That doesn't make any sense. I can pick it up in a bucket. And it's filling up in the mechanical pipe. Why is this saying... Oh. I know what I did. This will work. I forgot to set the input. Or the channel. Creosote oil. Should every, every iteration, it'll output... Yeah, son of a gun. I darn, I darn did. I darn done messed up. Okay, so we have that going, and then we can just have the um, importer handle the rest so everything else can go out of the back, and then it'll start importing the coal coke and the tar. Cool. Then we want to go ahead and let's get all this stuff put away. We might use some of this in a minute, but I need to clean up my inventory so I can work with it. Let's go to therm. Thermal, we need these and these. Make the machine go burr. Um, and then we need the fluid encapsulator. Okay, so we have the creosote oil being produced. And then we need to pop down here. Set up our other quantum entangle porter. We need an external storage. And we're going to need the simple black hole tank, right? You're going to sit there. You're going to sit there. And then we'll just have the external storage sit in the back. You're going to be on fluid mode. You are going to be set to the creosote oil input, but I want to go ahead and configure you real quick. Bam. Fluids output to the right, auto eject. Creosote oil, it should start filling up in here. Bam. Uh, well, we're going to pull from the left. We're going to enable the back and we're going to disable everything else for now. And we will now have creosote oil showing up in refined storage. So if we pop up here, look here. Bam. Creosote oil, 11 buckets. Good. Now we just need to teach the system how to make buckets of creosote oil. Creosote. Creosote oil. Creosote. There we go. Oh, sorry. It's creosote oil bucket for thermal. My bad. Sorry. Um, and you have a bucket of creosote oil and you have a bucket and that's going to equal that. Bam. Please fly. And then if we put this in here and we say you can input from the top. And then you're just going to output to the back. Bam, bam. That and that. And then if I ask for a creosote oil bucket, it should 
do the thing. It already did the thing. That's how fast it operates. Bam, we got creosote oil, which means we can now ask for treated wood planks, which means we can craft um, what we need. So what is it that we need? Well, uh, we are looking to make vacuum tubes, right? And vacuum tubes can either be made inside of an engineer's workbench or they can be made in an automated engineer's workbench. And that's what we're working towards right now is the automated engineer's workbench. However, we're gonna need a blueprint and I don't know how these blueprints work. So we're going to find out how do we program a blueprint with what we need it to, to do. Is it when I put it in a machine? We'll find out. Um, yeah, let's find out. So in order to make this, we're gonna need a couple things. We're gonna need five steel scaffolding. So let's go ahead and request all that. Steel scaffolding, bam, five of you. Bada bing, bada boom. We need four light engineering blocks, one redstone engineering block. Bam, engineering block. Four of those guys, cool. We're gonna need two heavy engineering. Um, I never taught how to make that stuff, so I guess we're going to go back up. I missed those. Um, recipe for you is a block of Electrum. Bam. And steel mechanical components is this. I taught the system how to make the plates. I just put them into our multi-servo press up there, so we are good to go. Not the pneumismatic press, but the regular standard multi-servo press. So we need two heavies, and then we need um, two treated wood slabs. And then it was four conveyor belts. Okay. At immersive, we're gonna need this, this, this. Um, we're gonna need this. What else is it? Is that everything? So we'll check. All right. So, oh, the treated wood slabs. Ha ha. Bam. That's nice that it gives me little check marks. Let me know I have everything. Okay. And then isn't there something from immersive? Like, isn't there like a projector? Or isn't there something that like lets me know, like, like helps me to build this? Instead of me having to keep pulling up the book and low, uh, I went through this again in my All the Mod 6 playthrough and someone had mentioned it and I don't remember what that item is, if such an item exists. Revolvers, that's pretty cool. Um, Skyhook, unlimited speed, new form of travel, that sounds cool. We didn't have, you know, flight available to us. That sounds like it'd be cool. Does the book do it? Like, um, tools. Nothing there. It looks like construction, silo, tank, concrete, metal. Yeah, that's actually that's just blocks. Overview and resources. I'm not seeing anything like workbench and blueprints. So it looks like you just need a blueprint in order to craft things that a blueprint requires. Is that what I'm getting at? Um, okay, well, I don't know. So luckily this isn't too terrible to build, but we can just go layer by layer. Stop showing me. Let me click there. Okay, so let's bring this down here. So layer one is going to be Scaffolding light light. So we're going to have scaffolding light light. Keep the book on hand. Uh, redstone scaffolding scaffolding. And then scaffolding scaffolding. Not you. And then a heavy. Bam. Okay. Next layer, please. Uh, light, light, slab, slab. Let's 
slam, slam. And it looks like the slab is the block that you smack with the hammer to get it to work. And then um, we're going to need another heavy over here. And then conveyor belts. And they run like... Nope. This, 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 this. And then that's it. Smack it with a hammer. Okay. So all of this extra stuff can go away. Give me my engineer's hammer. And if I smack you, yeah, look, there we go. Automated workbench. Sweet. It's got a drill and everything. Stamper. Okay, so then if we put this in here, oh, and it tell, okay, so then we can say, this is what we want to craft. We want to craft vacuum tubes. And then it'll start doing it. Look, oh, and vacuum tubes show up there. Sweet. So we can control it with a redstone signal here. I don't like the position that this went in. Um, I would have preferred it to be rotated, but that's okay. But we can give it a redstone signal, it looks like. And then the book tells us more about it. Um, let's see. Blueprint can be placed on its drawing table. After selecting an item that should be created, it will begin assembly process. In order for the machine to work, it needs to be supplied with materials and power. Item inputs are the two hatches marked with blue dots. So there's an item hatch. So we just need to get item pa items pumped into this for the vacuum tube. So we just need to get a crafter. And we'll find out if we can hook a crafter directly to a immersive engineering block, by the way. But vacuum tubes is going to be this, right? We don't need the engineer's blueprint, but we need all of this stuff. And that's going to produce us three vacuum tubes. Nice. Okay, so we're going to have those. We're going to need a crafter. We're going to need a flux point. We need power, obviously, for this guy. And cables. And let's, let's see if we can't get this set up. And we're also going to need a hopper or something to catch the items or a, maybe a chest at the end of this thing. So if we put this here and we give it a couple couple rotates. Bam. And then get some cabling run to it. Get out of here, Mr. Drowned. So that's you. And if I say I want, you know, this, if I request a vacuum tube, does it work? No, because I never taught it how to make that stuff. Okay, well, I thought I was ahead of the scheme, ahead of the game, but I guess not. Power goes here, and you are going to be our vacuum to use. Vacuum tube prod. Oh, when I was spelling bee champ in school, I'd be so ashamed of myself. My middle school self, I was spelling bee champ. I'm pretty sure vacuum was one of my words too, and I literally just forgot how to spell vacuum. Disappointed. Um, I just messed up the crafting of those cakes too because I picked them up. So let's go ahead and cancel that because those seven are never going to show up. Okay, so that is powered. It's going to produce vacuum tubes. Let's go ahead and teach the system how to make, what is it? Um electric or nickel plates you're going to go into a multi servo press and it was copper wire and you are going to go into um it might be prudent for us to set up a metal press but i want to see if proof of uh proof of work is this going to work otherwise we could set up a crafter like we did before and just have copper wire go into a crafter mm, probably an easier way to do it ultimately um, and then copper plates, I need to teach the system how to make. But for now, I just want to make, we'll just, we'll just make one with our hammer. And then, yeah, except I need to get electrum anyway. So does it really matter that I just made 64 of those with the hammer? Not particularly, because we need the electrum plates. So there's copper wire. And then, so now if I request vacuum tube, you should have everything you need to be able to do these. So let's see, can we import straight into this? Is it is it working? It looks like it. There's, there's a progress bar. 
So things are happening, and then it's just going to spit it out into the world. Bink. Okay, sweet. Um, and if we have an interface here, we can dump those into there. That works great. What If I have a chest at the end of this, will this dump into the chest? Or am I going to have to set up a hopper to catch it is the question. So let's get vacuum tubes again. I like this, though. It's going to drop it out of there. I like the uh, the animation. Uh, tick accelerating, which is the master block. How, how am I going to tick accelerate this? Anybody know? Okay, so straight into a chest, unless the chest would have to be up one. We're experimenting. Like I said, I don't know how immersive engineering works, so... And we need to find the master block. And that went into the chest. Okay, cool. So from the chest, we can then just get an importer and import straight into the system. Bam, and cable. Okay, cool. So that is vacuum tubes automated. Like, it works. Now, we need to speed it up. Uh, so let's find where our, where's the master block on this thing? And how can we tick accelerate it? Can we tick accelerate it? It doesn't seem to tick accelerate anywhere particularly, which is going to be it's going to be kind of a problem because it's going to take forever for this to for this to craft these. Um, I may have to look up how can we tick accelerate uh, the immersive engineering workbench. Um, but oh, by the way, this so this is the setup for the um, diamond saw to make those silicon bools. Uh, so we have this guy. I accidentally forgot to turn off the exporting initially, so I made a bunch of diamond saws. But we have diamond saws, and then similar similar to how we have our um, uh, knives knives going into our dispenser, we just have the translocators pumping into the item transporter with this locked, and it requests the silicon easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, Curious that it's not producing any, and also we're not producing any of anything again, so we're, we're essence short. Uh, oh, there's our dense construction block. I did go ahead and make a bunch of those, so we have that going for us, which is nice. And then, yeah. Um, but that is our vacuum tube, so we can teach the system how to make the vacuum tube. Let's get a crafter. Let's get stack upgrades so we can request as many as a time. Let's get speed upgrades and a catalyst and then the only thing we're gonna have to worry about is the um copper wire for the tubes but we will figure that out in a moment um so crafting upgrade stack speed you are going to put in vacuum tubes and so we should already have the vacuum tubes in there and we can do that and now vacuum tubes are in here and they should be being requested by excuse me Refined storage. Yes. Okay. So, um, and it looks like the only caveat with this is, is it does one at a time or well, one batch at a time. And yes, that seems to be accurate. One batch at a time. So this is going to take forever. We're basically going to have a lot of AFK time, essentially, where we're going to be sitting around waiting for things to happen. Now, let's see. What are we waiting on? Um, blazing capacitors. Why do we not have any blazing capacitors being made? We have all the stuff available for it. Um, but I don't see any. Oh, there was one being requested. OK, so that's at least good. Crates are going probably should speed up the, the wood essence at some point. Uh, I'm not worried about all of it right now. When I go to AFK for a while, I'll set up all the accelerators and get all of that going for us. I don't need to be worry about it too much, terribly much right now, because uh, I mean, yeah, sure. These singularities are working passively for us, but at the same time, if I'm going to AFK for hours, I'll just let them sit, you know. Um, copper wire is the only other thing that we need to do. And I'll probably just set up another setup like this where I import the cutters, the copper, fill up the rest of this and just have this do the copper wire recipe. Because I don't feel like setting up another one of those um, 
another immersive machine essentially is where I'm at. Or do I? How long do we have left? <laughs> 10 seconds for this episode. Metal press. What do you need? Let's go. Metal press. You just need a piston, two steel scaffolding. All right, let's do it. Let's just set up the metal press. We'll do it. We'll do it all full immersive. Um, it's going to be slower, but it's already slow anyway. So does it really matter? Not too much. Uh, piston, two steel scaffolding. There we go. I need a piston. We're going to need our engineers. Also, I picked up a bunch of cake again, apparently. Um, one redstone engineering, one heavy and two conveyor. All right, let's set this up. You are steel, redstone, steel, and you're going to go this way. So we will just, we'll set it up appropriately this time. We kind of want it to go this way. So steel, steel, redstone, Conveyor, piston, conveyor, though the piston has to be facing down. So we're going to have to do, I mean, some building blocks. Can I, yeah, I think I, I found out that I can rotate a piston, but it has to be facing appropriately in the first place. So if we do that, then I should be able to do this. Nope. Nope. Come on, Mr. Piston. Do do the right thing. There we go. And then conveyor that way and that way. And that's it. Oh, and then the uh, other engineering block, the heavy. You jerk. I double tap space, I promise. Okay, and then smack the piston. There we go. We have a metal press. So then in order to use this or get the copper wire, we have to get this guy, the metal press mold wire, which is going to require me to make this steel plate, um, which makes me, I'm going to have to make a standard engineer's workbench, which is this, which is this. Okay, there's that. And then Really? And I just need another blueprint. Um and I need a blueprint for what? Um copper wire. I need this blueprint, I don't know if it's different, and it, it, it does look to be different. So apparently there's just different craftable blueprints for immersive engineering, I'm learning. As far as I know, when I get to um, the, if I play like Enigmatica 6, uh, again, and we do the expert mode, I'm gonna need to know how to make these. So just something to keep in mind. Bam. You're gonna go there, we're gonna request Metal press wire, three steel plate, and an engineer wire cutters. Okay. And then we need wire cutters. And I'm probably going to need a brand new pair, so we'll just grab a brand new pair. Bam, bam. Give me this. There we go. And then this goes here like this. Okay. And then if we to automate this, we just need to put um, get a hopper. Again, I forgot that I don't have hoppers top to the system. We'll grab a hopper here, and I think we can just hopper straight onto this, right? And does that work? Is that how that works? Or you know what? It would look better is if I can I hopper into a chest or just import straight into a chest. I like that idea better. Hopper just sit there for a moment so I can place this chest. If I put copper ingots in there, will they uh, auto pull? No, oh, except you, jerk. Or does this have to sit on the conveyor? We're learning. We're learning. 
Bro. No. Also needs power. Oh, maybe that would work, but it needs power. This is just temporary. Just because I don't feel like clicking to make a flex point. <laughs> is that bad? Um, maybe that would have worked with the chest and the hopper. But it needed power? No, jerk. All right, how do we automate this thing? Because that works. There we go. Copper wire. Done. Give me that. But I need to... Oh, there we go. Huzzah. So then I can set a crafter on top of this. And then and then we can just have the chest come out of the back. And everything will end up in this chest. There we go. All right. So I'm going to just teach the system how to make the uh, copper wire with a crafter. And we're good to go with this whole setup. Okay, so that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate it, and it really does help out the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.